Hey, Shalom. Shalom. I'd like to start off by uh, giving all praises, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. And uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Now, do well. Peace be unto you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. And may the angels encampeth around you. Because we're going to need it. We always need it. <laughs> Especially now more so than ever. Same goes on down to the rank and file. May Yahweh Bashim Yoshai and the angels be with you. Kwam Yash Allah and Ababa Ball. And Shalom to the hopeful like and Ababa Ball, man. Death to Babylon. And Babylon is going down faster than a cheap slot. Day by day, we're seeing it. And this place, man, it's getting more and more demonic every single day. Every single day, it's getting more and more demonic. And um, this devil, he knows that he has but a short time. And that's why you're seeing, you're seeing a lot of things picking up really quick. So um, I have a couple articles to share with you. Headlines, and then I have this video to play here. And then I'm going to have some scriptures and then close up real quick here. Not too long. So it says here, Biden administration likely to approve Crystal Waters boosters at six months. Pfizer, BioNTech have requested clearance. Of crystal waters boosters that an official said could be administered six months after previous dose all right so I'm gonna just read this part I'm not gonna read the whole thing and uh, Lord willing because I forgot last time in my previous lesson to uh, post the links in the description Lord willing I do it hopefully I remember but you can just type this in yourself and do a little Google search and read it, read it yourself okay so it says federal regulators are likely to approve a Crystal Waters booster shot for crystallized adults starting at least six months after the previous dose rather than the eighth month gap they previously announced. So originally it was supposed to be an eight month gap. So now they're telling you they're coming in the vibration of six. And that's a left hand number that's a uh, the number of the beast pretty much six so they're coming in that vibe so that should tell you something that should tell you something and it also proves that this devil has a short time Let's see if i can find that Here we go. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's all I really want from this. Um, this devil knows that he has a short time to get things set up. His new world order, um, pursuing to Job the 20th chapter, when it goes into how he's about to fill his belly and then sudden destruction shall reign upon him which he will fulfill what he wants but he's going to be destroyed so this guy knows that he has a short time because there's a changing of worlds and that word world it really just means eon which eon just means an age and we are at the end of Esau's age his rulership um, pursuing to Second Ezra chapter six verse nine, go read it yourself. It says, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth." So he knows that his kingdom is coming to an end, and that our rulership is up next. And he realizes that there's nothing else to really invest in this world. The mirth is gone out of this earth, and a lot of you simple people, you're beginning to realize that. Um, because now you you have you have had your your privileges taken away. There's nothing nice to invest in this world anymore. Everything's done. But um, he has but a short time, and he realizes that. So he's going to speed things up. That's why he took it down from eight 
and he went to six. And that's a demonic number, man. A person familiar with the plan said as Biden administration steps up preparations for delivering boosters to the public. Wow. All right, so let's move on. It says, Pentagon, U.S. troops must get their crystal waters ASAP. So this is going into the servicemen, the men of war, and women of war, because you do have women in the military. And hey, are you going to take a paycheck, or are you just going to leave? Because in order for you guys to get paid, you have to take this. And I believe if you don't take it, it comes with stipulations and consequences. You're going to probably be court-martialed, be thrown in jail. You have to be disciplined. And it's not nice. Um, you, you may get kicked out. Who knows what's going to happen. So for you guys that are in, are in the military, what are you going to do? And, and they're, they're already saying that um, a, a lot of people in the military, especially the United States military, they're, they're, they're actually bucking up against this. A lot of them don't want to take it, but now they're making it mandatory. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And you get a lot of benefits when you're in the military, even though being in the military is very, very hard. It's very hard work. And it's a lot of um, it takes a lot of mental dexterity to stay in there. But you get a lot of goodies, man. You get taken care of. You get taken care of. So are you willing to lose those things? Are, are you willing to lose those? So the choice is really yours, man. Who are you going to choose? Are you going to choose this world? Or are you going to choose Yahawashai? Alright, so let's play this. Okay, so now this says... This is from TikTok. Paris police scanning Crystal Waters passports. And I made a video uh, previously going into the word draconian. And um, this is a part of it. And, and we're also living in a dystopian society. This is real life, guys. This is not, this is not just a book, 1984, written by George Orwell. This is actually happening now. And um, he spoke about these things. And really, and really, it goes beyond that stupid book. Well, it's not a stupid book. It's a good book. But it, this was really spoken of in the scriptures. And you had the men of the Lord out here telling you this for years. That this stuff was going to happen. Now they're coming up to you and they're asking for proof. And if you don't have that proof, obviously there's going to be consequences, right? You're going to probably most likely get a fine. And it ain't, it ain't $50, it's probably $100, $200 fines. Or even more than that. And I just have to point out, a lot of um, people in France... They're bucking up against the whole passports. But this guy, President Macron, he doesn't give a damn. He's, he's pushing it. He's just going ahead. He doesn't give a damn. So this devil, like I said earlier, he knows that he hath but a short time. He doesn't give a damn. He's going to keep going on with his agenda. And he's not going to stop. And it ain't all about the people. It's really about the elites. They rule. And I just have to say, real quick, man, if you build upon the ideals of the people, you're really building upon mud. You need a governing body of smart individuals to really build a government. You can't just rely on the thoughts of the ordinary person or the ordinary citizen. You can't. It's not going to work, man. So this whole democracy, getting your opinion in, your suggestion, it's all bullshit. And they don't care about that. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. And we're, and we're seeing it. We're seeing it. All right, so I'm going to play the clip here. Yeah, so they're really buckling down. It's, yeah, they're, they're, they're looking at it, looking at people's passes. And that's going to come over here. Most likely. Alright, so here we go. Let's get to the good stuff. The scriptures. 
These are the words of Yahweh Shai written in red. And I'm going to start off at John chapter 12, verse 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. And that's what we're hoping for. And we do hate our lives over here. The true followers of Yahweh Shai, we really hate our lives. And we don't want to do, we don't want to have anything to do with this world. Because there's nothing left to invest in this world. This world is spiritually and morally bankrupt. There's nothing left in this place. And you have a lot of crooked people at the top ruling. He that loveth his life shall lose it. You people that love your life, you want to keep your job, you want to take it. Take, take the you know what, which is going to lead into the MOTB. You're going to take those things because you want to Continue your life over here in Babylon the Great. Guess what? The Lord said you're going to lose it. So he that loveth his life shall lose it. He that loveth his life shall lose it. So just keep that in mind. You're going to lose it all if you love your life over here in Babylon. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. And you can read more about that in Hebrews, the first chapter. I believe you can read from the 10th verse on down on how when we get the kingdom through you Yahweh Shai we're going to have eternal life but first in order for you to get that you have to forsake this world and what I'm seeing right now in the news a lot of you people are not going to do that only a select few of people are going to do that man because because people in this world lack faith they lack integrity they lack a strong will Verse 26, if any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servants be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. That's right. And that's what we want at the end of the day. We want that, that honor and acceptance of the heavenly father. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's what we want. And we're going to be looking beautiful in the kingdom. We're going to get everything back, man everything back everything that we desire we're gonna get and we're not gonna have we're not gonna be waking up to these fucking heathens man telling us what to do who don't even know how to wash themselves properly who eat abominable foods who are who are screwing up the planet they are awful custodians man they are awful custodians awful that's gonna be done away with you're not gonna have to you're not gonna have to put up with a bunch of beta male simps. Beta male simps, man. A lot of these deadbeat hoes, these deadbeat moms, these deadbeat dads. These Satanists, man. Broke back mountain sodomites over here, man. You don't have to put up with that stuff in the kingdom. And that's what we hope for, eternal life. And we're gonna live forever. That's what we're seeking, man. Eternal life. Okay, so let's get to let's get to the next one. Um, this is John chapter fourteen, verse twelve. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Hey, Amen. If you're discontent with with having to do the work right now. Even though Yahweh Shai already promised you that you're going to be doing greater works than what he did, and all you do, all you have to do right now is just suffer patiently and wait. If you can't believe that, and if you're thinking about going back into the world, then you really don't believe in this, man. You really lack faith. And a lot of you people in Israel lack faith, man. A lot of you, a lot of you in Israel lack faith, and you have no respect for the faith. A lot of you. You had the whole situation with um, Captain Tazariok telling his congregation, really telling other Israelites to take the you-know-what. Here it is. For years, you've been prophesying about how this guy is the devil and that he's going into slavery, but then you're going to follow what he tells you. Does that sound like somebody that believes... That he's going to do greater works than Yahweh Shai? He's not acting like, like that. 
And you have a lot of Israelites out there that, that, that think that way. Because I go on to my father, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the father may be glorified in the son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And a lot was said here because um, when we get into the kingdom, man, when we, we, Lord willing, I make it on the first go around, Lord willing. When we're in the kingdom, when we ask for anything, we're going to get what we want. And everything that we put our hands on is going to turn to gold, man. We're going to have the King Midas touch. But a million times greater. It's not like here you have to go to you have to go to your enemies, man. You have to go to your enemies to ask permission. You have to get a you have to get a loan from the bank. You got to do rituals behind the scenes. That ain't going to be like that in the kingdom. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. And that's right. It's all about the name. Which power are you coming in? You're not going to be asking in the name of Shatan. You're going to be asking in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that's what our people are not doing on this side, a majority of them. They're asking in the names of these other powers. And that's going to be your downfall, man. That's going to be your downfall. And you're going to die a horrific and horrible death. And you're going to be humiliated. Humiliated, man. If you love me, keep my commandments. And that's right. And that's how you express true love. True love. Keeping the commandments. Because that's what love is. The laws. And love is displayed through action, not talk. And a lot of our people talk a good game. They talk like they serve God. They talk like they're about righteousness. But their, but their works don't show. Their works don't show for it. Let's move on. Revelation chapter 2 verse 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. That's right. If you have this truth right now, hold fast to it. Don't look back. Don't look back, man. Don't be don't be caught up with what other people have either. Focus on yourself. Focus on the Lord and focus on yourself and also focus on the body too. Because the Lord, the good Lord, he could take this away from you. And you end up like these people in the world, faithless, don't know, don't, don't have a, you know, like you have our people right now, they're doing milk cart challenges, stupidity, which I believe there's a, there's another, there's another uh, sadistic vibe that's under that. I think that whole thing is Masonic too. And um, a lot of brothers been bringing a lot of information about that. Because where the hell are you Jakes getting all these milk cartons from? All of a sudden, in the hood, dropping it off in the hood. What's going on with that? All of a sudden. Where, where, where is that coming from? Anyway, it says, But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. So you got to stay in this truth and don't look back like Lot's wife. You got to keep plowing until the, until the Lord comes back. You got work to do. You got to fight, man. A lot of people just want to give up. Oh, I heard that before. My grandma used to talk about that. She told me that years ago. That God's going to come back. I don't see him yet. So I'm just going to go back into the world or just not care. Our people are like that, man. Our people are very fickle like that. And he that overcometh, that's right. So when you overcome something, that means there's going to be obstacles. There's going to be trials. There's going to be strife. That means you got to fight. And it isn't going to be easy being, uh, being, in, being involved in the ministry. 
And you're not going to function like an ordinary person. You're not going to be an ordinary man, an ordinary woman. You're not going to be. Because this is not for ordinary people. To live like Yahweh Shai, that's not ordinary. That isn't ordinary. So yes, you're going to lose jobs. You're going to lose opportunities. People are going to hate you, even though you tell the truth. Because a servant is not greater than the master. And everybody hated Yahweh Shai. The world hates Yahweh Shai. They hate Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And if they hate them, then they're going to hate us. And good. And if they, if people can't get this truth, good. Because you know what, brothers? Don't, don't, don't worry about if people can't get it. Because you don't even know why you got it. The Lord made you get it. So He has to make these people get it. And if they can't get it, then the Lord doesn't want them. They're rejects. They don't want them. He doesn't want them. And keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. And that's what you're going to get if you stay faithful. Power over the nations. And there's a lot of nations on this planet. A lot of nations, man. And that includes you, Esau. Mr. So-called white man. That's right. That's right. You're going down. You're going down. You're going into slavery. And you other nations too. You're going into slavery, hardcore bondage. And you're going to suffer, man. You're going to suffer for a thousand years. And you're going to feel our heavy hand. Our heavy hand that's going to be that's upon you. And every day you're going to remember what you've done. You're going to remember every single day of that a thousand years. Every single day. All right? Every single day. Verse 27, And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter. Shall they be broken to shivers even as I received of my father? With a rod of iron. <laughs> with a rod of iron, man. As the vessels of the potter, they shall be broken to shivers. So, you know the saying, going to rule with an iron fist? That's how we're going to rule with you. With an iron fist. And that comes to the laws. Because you people are not going to be perfect in the kingdom of heaven. You're going to be going off. And when you go off, man, we're going to get on you. We're, <laughs> we're going to get on you, man. So, that's all I got. That's all I got today. hope this was edifying. With that, just want to give all praises, glory, and honor. Do unto you how about Hashem Yoshai. Hashem Kodash, I mean. Uh, shalom to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and double honors unto them. Kwam Yasha Allah Babal Shalom.